Okay, we're going to be playing with ZYN add suffect today again today. And um, last week I showed you how to layer instruments so that uh, the keys can play multiple instruments on top of each other. Today we're going to divide up the keyboard so that certain keys play certain instruments. So let's get started by opening up ZYN add sub effect. Move it on down here. And uh, we will refresh this screen here. I've got a patchage here I'm using to connect uh, stuff through Jack D. I'm taking my USB keyboard, MIDI keyboard, and connecting it to ZYN add sub, add sub effect. I'll also make sure that it's hooked up to my Pulse Audio, since that's what I'm recording from, so you guys can hear it as well. And now, we'll go back into ZYN add sub effect. We'll open up our instrument bank here. And uh, we will choose an instrument. How about full strings? I like that one. We're set on channel one, which we went over last time, and my keyboard should be set to channel one. Let's see. Very good, very good, and it... Full strings are throughout the entire keyboard right now. What we want to do is we want to stop full strings right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a key. I'll say that key right there. Then I'll come down here and you can see you have a number here uh, from 0 to 127. Well, those are the keys that this instrument is reacting to. And if you look down here, you have a little m, and a big M, and an R. The R is for reset. And if you hover over the button here, it says, set the minimum key to the last pressed key. Well, we don't want that. We want to use this one. Set the maximum key to the last pressed one. So the last key I pressed was this key over here. We'll now click that button. You can see it changes this number to 53 now. And you see, past that last key, nothing is playable. So now what we'll do is we'll go to our next instrument, enable it. Once again, make sure you set it to the proper channel, whatever you have your keyboard set to, which I'm going to stick with channel one for right now. So right now, uh, let's pick another instrument here. I'll pick a uh, power guitar. And uh, if I play, you should hear power guitar throughout the entire keyboard. And when we're down here, you should hear both power guitar and full synth. So up here, just power guitar. But as we move down, so now if we want to limit power guitar as well, we'll limit power guitar. Once again, from here, I'll press that key because that's the next key up, and I'll set that to the minimum, and we'll limit it to right about here. We'll just give it one octave. Now, we should have full synth down here. And then as we get to here, we should start hearing our power guitar. And then right about here, it should stop and we should hear nothing. So now we can add another instrument. We'll go to our next instrument. We'll enable it, set it to channel one. And uh, we will choose an instrument. We will choose, how about this uh, Trem synth piano, which we should hear up here. And we should also hear it, because since we haven't changed its settings yet, along with the other instruments. So there you can hear it along with the uh, full strings and the power guitar. Now once again, if you wanted to limit it so it's not playing over the other ones as well, find out, uh, try to remember where you... So we're going to click that key right there and set that to the minimum. So now we have three different instruments. Now you can do this from key to key if you want. If you want to set one key to be a certain instrument, and that's it, you can do that. So now you can play songs like so, you know. Okay, 
case. So now, and also if we look at the virtual keyboard, same thing as long as you have it set to channel one. Now, at the same time as I showed you in, in the last tutorial, we have this set to that uh, trem synth piano. But it's uh, at the higher pitch and the higher octaves. If we wanted it to be a different instrument, but a lower and or higher pitch, we can change the octave. So we can shift the keys down like so. Do it down another octave, make it really low. And um, that's about it. We can also go back to the power guitar and make that a higher pitch, our key. We can shift the keys up. And once again, you can save all these presets just by saving all parameters. And uh, obviously you can do the same thing on multiple different channels. So if I wanted to go and add a new instrument and I'll set it to channel two, and we'll create a soft organ, and I'll set my keyboard to channel two. That's a soft organ, let's try something else. Let's try a grand organ. We can add a, another instrument and once again set that to channel two. And we will choose Echo Choir for that. And we can set the keys for the max on the organ to there. So now. And then if we have a new song we want to play, we just click this and we're back to our other instruments. So that is how you can chop your keyboard up to be different instruments and have different keys play different instruments at different uh, uh, octaves. So I thank you once again for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Also check out the links in the description, our Facebook page. Go over there, give us a like. Keep an eye out for it because I tend to put things up there a little early sometimes. And um, just once again, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.